Okay, so we're in Redcliffe in Queensland, and this is where the Bee Gees uh, grew up. Now, the Bee Gees stands for Brothers Gibb. So the Brothers Gibb, or the Bee Gees, lived here, and this is where they started. So the very beginning, Oxley Avenue, Redcliffe. The first time we ever played as a group in public was at the Redcliffe Speedway in 59. The surprise to me is that it hasn't changed. Back then, we talked them into letting us sing in between the races, whether it was the Nats or the stock cars. That's a clever idea, you know, because you've got the salted crowd of all the race fans, then you sing to them, and then they walk away going, oh, I mean, that, that, they're the racing car band. We know those guys. Yeah, we sang through the PA system on the back of a lorry. The crowd threw money on the track, and we gleefully ran out and picked up the change. We've been doing that ever since. That's what music is, people. It's busking. No matter how big it is, like let's say you're as big as U2 or Kiss or Rolling Stones, they are buskers. It is clear to me now as it was then, race car driver Bill Good and his close friend, disc jockey Bill Gates, <laughs> Bill Gates, different one I'd say, both became aware of our performance. They recognised something in us, the idea that we could be famous. They visited us at our home in Oxley Avenue. We were presented with a guitar with the letters BG stamped on it and it set us on a path that changed our lives to ever. To Bill and Bill, we thank you and we salute you. We love Barry. Man, that Barry Gibbs awesome. And this is their first musical agreement with looks like a uh, promotions firm. I won't read all through that, but um, I don't know, do you need to get a close up of that or can you see that fairly clearly? Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to go in today to see everything because they've closed it down for repair. But um, we can show you what there is here. So once again, this is the Red Cliff shops. And just over there is the, is the, the ocean. That's the Morton Bay, isn't it? The Morton Bay. Wow, wait, what's that island we can see there? Is that Morton Island or is it Stradbroke? Do you know? I'm not sure. Yeah. I wonder what island that is. Anyway, there's an island just over there. <laughs> Look it up in your atlas, people. <laughs> Bee Gees Way, so they wanted to, Morton Bay region is the birthplace of the most successful group in pop history. Here in Redcliffe in the 50s, three young brothers gathered around a microphone and used their famous name now used around the globe. So as a family, their talents were unrivaled. Remember they had their brother Andy Gibb as well, who was a solo artist that did very well too. The Bee Gees uh, Ways pays tribute to the remarkable uh, career of them so stories and images and comments so you would go down here into BG's way which is here but you can see the builders the construction guys have shut it off and the explanation is here closed you can't keep a good man down but after five years of partying overnight and entertaining thousands of tourists it's time to give our audio visual systems the kiss of life it's not a tragedy we'll be jive talking again before the Christmas holiday rush so don't say goodbye clever use of all their songs Man, what a picture of them. These guys are awesome. Like when you think of that song, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. These are lady killers, man. These guys, I mean, he looks like Jesus to me there. Maybe that was the idea, I don't know, but yeah. Are you able to look through that thing and see the construction or anything there? Uh, you can sort of see if it'll focus. Yeah. So you can walk down there and see all the memories. <laughs> it reminds me of that one movie with Will Ferrell, Jive Talking, where one of them called the other a jive turkey. <laughs> That's the worst thing you could call someone, because jive means that you're lying. It doesn't mean dancing, we're jive talking. It means we're lying. But what's really interesting is this came from, the song Staying Alive came from the movie with John Travolta uh, called uh, Staying Alive. Was that the original? And then they had a sequel, which is... Was it called Staying Alive, the actual one? It was actually written by Sylvester Stallone. Not many people know that. Like, is amazing Saturday stuff. Saturday Night Fever, is it called? Saturday Night Fever, yes, yes, yes. that's what it's called. And yeah. then Staying Alive was the sequel. So, yeah. But yeah. the song was from the original film. And, uh, yeah, and I think that song was when he first started using the trademark falsetto voice. Before that, he didn't use that. And then they used it ever since because it took, it took so well, like, and it worked so well. So imagine that going into the studio instead of going, I can tell by the way I use my walk. From now on, you go, <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, he's probably cut. You know what? I'll bet you the medium is the funniest bastard. Like some of these guys actually are comedians. And that's what's funny about it all. Like, <laughs> like it looks like they take themselves all oh, so seriously. They were probably laughing their butts off this day. Like, you know, I'm just writing my own narrative here, but I, I, it really wouldn't surprise me if these guys are real jokesters. Okay, over and out at Redcliffe.